Hi everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com and one of the common questions I get is how do I send my 3D part to a 3D printer? Uh, how do I create an STL file? And the way I see people typically look for this is they go to the file menu and they go to the export and then they look under type, they look for an STL and that's not where you're gonna find it. The good news is it's uh, this is this process isn't too difficult to do. Where we're going to find this is going to be under the make uh, toolbar on the model workspace. So on the drop down, you can see I can choose to do a 3D print. Fusion wants to know what things that we want to 3D print. I only have one body on my screen, so I'm just going to go ahead and select this body. And then I can choose a refinement, high, medium, low, etc. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And I want to save this out to my downloads folder. And I'm gonna call this uh, 3D print. Go ahead and hit save. And now that file, if we go look at my downloads folder, which is right down here, there's a 3D print.stl. So it was fairly easy to create that uh, STL file that we could then bring into a slicer. We can also automate the process a little bit. So again, if I go to the make menu and I choose 3D print and uh, go through my different options, I want to, I'm going to print this, but I'm also going to say I want to send it to a 3D print utility. Now, right now, I have Kira installed on my computer. Some of your other options that you might have are Mesh Mixer or Print Studio. The one I want to do is one that's not showing up here, and that's called Simplify 3D. So I'm going to say that I'd like to do a custom application, and I need to specify what that is, and we're going to specify that by going to the Applications folder and scrolling down until I find Simplify 3D, I'm gonna find the latest version, and click on the executable for that, and go ahead and hit the open button. And now you can see by default, whenever I check this box, it's gonna open this print up in Simplify 3D. So when I hit OK, I won't even have to uh, launch Simplify 3D and import the model, it will already be there for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose OK. And now Fusion has gone through and it's brought it, it's launched Simplify 3D and brought that model in there. All I have to do now is uh, arrange it. I probably wouldn't want to print it in this orientation, change my orientation and such. But that's uh, all things that are you know fairly common to do inside of Simplify 3D. So I hope this helps you to learn how to go ahead and create an STL file or how to automate the process by specifying the slicer program that you want to use to create your 3D print. If you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you found this video useful, it'd be awesome if you'd subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later.